Hi, you're welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this Honda CB600F, otherwise known as the Honda Hornet. This is a 2011 bike on an 11 plate. It's a 600cc, 100 horsepower inline four motor. Um, this particular bike is covered just over 6,000 miles um, with four owners from new. This one's been uh, nicely personalized with some really tasteful modifications, just sets it apart from the standard bike. Um, it's been well kept, well looked after, lots of receipts. Um, so let's take you for a walk around the bike and show you some stuff. So we start at the front end, the bike's finished in like a pearlescent white. Um, the camera unfortunately doesn't do it justice. Upside down forks um, with non-regularly mounted Nissan brakes, 310 wheel discs, all in really nice condition. There's no rust, pitting or anything like that at all. Um, Tires that are fitted are the Michelin Pilot Power Road 5s. Um, we're fitting a lot of these to bikes at the moment. They're a really good all-round um, tire. Um, on the front of the bike, we do have a, uh, a colour-coded, it's not a screen, but a colour-coded section on the front, which isn't standard, and small indicators. And as I pan up even further, you'll notice that we've got some aftermarket um, mirrors and also some decent quality uh, levers as well. As we come round to the side, we've got a full stainless uh, Black Widow exhaust system, which sounds awesome. It does have a baffle in it, and as such is road legal. Um, got some crash protectors, you can't really see them, but uh, these blocks just here uh, are crash protectors, which nicely blend into the overall look of the bike. There's a few cosmetic marks on this side of the bike, mostly on the tank. Just underneath here, it looks like uh, there's been a bit of a rub there and there uh, it's been touched in it's been polished up but um it's there nonetheless um, on the back of the bike we've got some ermax plastic so we've got the uh the hugger and the under tray as well which finish off the back end of the bike make it look really nice uh, we've got a tail tidy and some smaller indicators on the back as well again paint work wise there are a few little marks on the rear seat unit where someone's thrown their leg over and caught it with their foot and just underneath here in the under tray, some of the laminate on the, uh, the under tray is starting to go. It could probably do with being re-lacquered, but um, it's worth mentioning nonetheless. And again, we've got a matching, matching Michelin on the back as well. You might have noticed that uh, the bike's got an upgraded seat. I believe these are made by Bag Lux. This is a comfort seat, and these are really, really nice, um, particularly if you're commuting or doing any kind of mileage. Um, again, really nice modification to the bike. So this side you can see the Yermax hugger and integrated chain guards a little bit nicer. This particular bike will have a new set of chain and sprockets before it goes out as well. Again on this side, um, most of the body works in reasonable condition. Um, no signs of any major drops or crash damage or anything like that. The bike is completely HPI clear. Um, but as I said, around the other side it is showing a few signs of wear and tear. There's a couple of little marks here and there, but nothing untoward on this side at all. So as we come up to the cockpit, you can see that we've got some Renfrew grips, a really popular modification. These are the harder compound, so they do tend to last a bit longer. We've got two keys for the bike, and as I said, lots and lots of history. Let's give it a start up for you. this but it um, does sound absolutely brilliant people are definitely not going to miss you coming down the road um, all of our bikes are coming with free delivery during the lockdown period to try and take advantage of that way you can we don't know how long that's going to be able to last uh, we're for a three month warranty with roadside assistance and breakdown cover as standard uh, we're able to offer part exchange facilities and finance as well uh, and all the usual dealer trimmings I'm happy to answer any questions you can reach out to us on whatsapp we've got Facebook Messenger Auto Trader we've got live chat and live chat on our website. And of course, I'm happy for you to pop in or for us to have a conversation over the phone. 
That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon.